Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering another dynamic section problem, specifically under part A, kinematics. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, everybody now. A 1000 car is traveling with a constant velocity of 14 meters per second. The brakes are applied and the car starts to decelerate at a rate of 3 meters per second squared until the car comes to a full stop. And we want to determine the stopping distance of the car, which means we want to determine the distance from when the car starts to decelerate to when the car comes to a full stop. So the first thing you guys need to do is go to the reference manual and make sure that you grab the right equation to solve for this, okay? So there are a couple kinematic equations, but you are looking more for an equation that is in terms of velocity, acceleration, and distance. You don't necessarily wanna get an equation that has time in it, because we don't really have time here, okay? So with that, why don't you guys give this problem a try? So again, always make sure that you guys attempt these problems. It's very important that you guys try them on your own. <clears throat> it's gonna help you to have a deeper understanding of the problems and also it's gonna help you to remember these concepts for your FE exam. So why don't you guys go ahead and pause this video and then come back to check your answer. Now, if you guys find this problem helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also, don't forget to download this cheat sheet here that has a lot of important equations and concepts that you need to know for your FE exam. Okay, guys, so as I mentioned, the first thing we got to do is go to the reference menu and grab the equation. So let's go ahead and do that together. So if you go to the dynamic section here, you are giving the equations. Now, here's the thing, guys, we can use the first equation if we want to, okay, because we do have the final velocity. So the final velocity is going to be zero because the car comes to a full stop at the end. So it's just going to be zero. V naught was given to us. It's just 14. We also have the acceleration. So from there, we can easily determine the time. But the thing is, we want the distance, which means once we determine the time, then we can use either the second or third equation to be able to determine the distance. The thing is, that is an unnecessary step. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit longer for us to solve this problem. And as you guys know, the FE exam is timed. And so it's really important to think of a faster way in solving problems. So instead of doing that, what we could do that's a little bit faster is just use the last equation. Because if you guys look at the last equation, it's not really in terms of time, it's just velocity acceleration. And then from there, we can just easily determine the distance. So let's go ahead and write the equation down. Now, as we mentioned before, the final velocity is going to be zero because at the end, the car comes to a full stop. So V is just going to be zero. The initial velocity was given as 14 meters per second. Now, the acceleration is going to be minus three. OK, just be careful, guys. Don't forget the negative. The reason why it's negative is because we are applying the brakes, which means we are decelerating. So it has to be minus three. And then S, so that's what we're actually trying to solve for, okay? And then the initial distance is just going to be zero. And the reason that is, it's because, let's go ahead and write, draw a quick free body diagram. So let's say the car is here, okay? And then we call this 1.1, 1 .1, okay? And then the car, so the car starts to decelerate, okay? And then it comes to a full stop at 0.2. OK, now here we could just initially just say that this distance is zero and then the final distance. Well, that's the distance that we're trying to find, right? The distance where the car is going to come to a full stop. OK, so now let's go ahead and plug in the numbers and then solve for the final velocity. So we're going to have S is going to be equal to minus V naught squared. So we're going to take the velocity to the other side and then we're going to divide it by two times the acceleration. OK. Now, the velocity we said is going to be 14 meters per second, and we're going to square it. And then we're going to divide it by 2 times the acceleration, which is minus 3 meters per second squared. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get about 32.67. And this here, it's going to have the units of meters. OK, so let's go ahead and double check that. So here we're going to have meters per second squared so which we, we're gonna have sorry meters squared per second squared right because meters per second is squared and then here we have meters per second squared so the meters squared cancels with meters we're left with meters and then per second squared with per second squared cancels and so at the end we're just gonna have meters okay which is 
good because that's the unit for distance. So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be C. Now, if you want to pass your FE exam this year, go ahead and comment below 2023. And also, I want you guys to know that you still got time. You can still pass your FE exam this year. Just make sure that you guys have the right study material. Make sure that you are studying the material that will be on your FE exam. Now, there are so many outdated study material and you don't want to waste your time studying something that will not be on your FE exam. Now, if you are looking for study material, make sure to check out our courses, which helped hundreds of students pass the FE exam. And before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here where students share their FE experience and how they passed the FE exam. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.